All right, everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to the vlog. We're starting in the studio tonight. Just a, got a little too busy for filming outside the studio today. So anyway, we're gonna dive right into the topic, which probably makes uh, some of you high schoolers out there watching very happy who are interested in learning about Mark Wetmore and the CU Cross Country and Track programs. Uh, oh man, where to even begin is the difficult part. I guess I'll start here. I was in Boulder at the, uni so the University of Colorado where I went to college is in Boulder, Colorado. That's where, remember two days ago, I filmed the Boulder Boulder, the 10K race. You see footage there of the race happening. Well, I was standing in a parking lot and I was doing my, doing my thing, put the drone up in the air, filming some beautiful shots for you. And I glance over my left shoulder and I see this across the parking lot. And real quick, I was here next to the, uh, next to the stadium and look what I found. This is right here. This is the old van that I used to ride in with Mark Wetmore and the whole CU team. It's probably a van from the 1990s and I guarantee Mark still drives it and I guarantee he's just old school and uh, very humble and like you got to earn your keep around here as a CU cross country and track runner and I think basically I'm going to make uh, another video maybe tomorrow about what it was like to run under Mark Wetmore's leadership. So that's right. That is the van that I used to ride in from 10 years ago. The van I rode in to go to the airport, to go fly to races, to go on long runs. All We used that van a lot. I mean, we rode in it everywhere. And I think the fact that they have, as I mentioned already, that van being in the parking lot 10 years later, and who knows how long it's been in service to the CU cross country team, but that is a, that personifies so well the approach that Mark takes to running, to life, to coaching, to uh, getting down to business. Like Mark is not gonna, he's not gonna uh, sugarcoat it. He's not gonna, he's not gonna hold your hand across the, across the finish line. It's all about showing up and being responsible for your actions and getting down to business to run as fast as possible. And no, no bells and whistles, no, no, nothing fancy at the CU uh, cross country and track practices and how he just approaches uh, training his athletes. Like you're not, it's, it's, you're not going to be pampered. That's the best word for it. You're not going to be pampered. And the fact that that van is still parked in that parking lot, 10 years after I've been gone, I think just proves his approach to, to everything. So I just love the fact that I spotted the van there and you might be sitting there wondering, wait a minute, I'm not in high school. Why should I listen to Seth? Like talk about his collegiate cross country coach for the next 10 minutes. Well, here's why. First of all, Mark influenced my approach to training and coaching in a big way. So that's one reason. So if you're interested in my training philosophy, it's really good to know more about Mark is the bottom line. Second, I think it's really important to know uh, about the best long distance coaches in the world. And yes, I'm going to say it. I would put Mark Wetmore on the Mount Rushmore of long distance running coaches currently, okay? And what do I mean by that? So Mount Rushmore, there's four faces up there, right? Uh, four former presidents, I should say. So in sports, you've got Michael Jordan, Wayne Gretzky, Gretzky, uh, Babe Ruth, and probably now, for better or worse, Tom Brady. Uh, sorry for all the Patriots fans out there. They would be on the Mount Rushmore of professional sports in the United States. Sorry for all the soccer fans out there. Not trying to exclude you, but at least in the U.S., that's how I would approach the professional athletes. Well, in long-distance coaching, Mark would take one of those spots. All right. Why is that? Well, I will list for you some of his accolades and accomplishments. I can't even I, I can't even scratch the surface of how many uh, success stories have come through the University of Colorado cross country and track program. So let me just see if I can find a few here. Uh, Mark has been named 30 time conference coach of the year. Uh, let's see. He had his teams have won. 23 Big 12 cross country team titles, 11 for the men, 12 for the uh, 11 for the women, 12 for the men on the track. Mark has coached 134 individual uh, titles and earned a 201 All American honors as a track coach. Um, CU athletes have broken seven collegiate, middle, and long distance records. Um, gosh. Uh, I don't even know where to begin as far as the Olympics. I'll just say this. Since 2000, uh, 10 CU athletes or graduates have earned 19 U.S. Olympic team berths at distances from 1,500 meters through the marathon. 
Uh, 14 current and former buffs have earned 31 spots on U.S. World Championship track teams, and 25 have combined for 61 berths on U.S. World Championship cross-country teams. Oh my goodness, it just goes on and on. As far as um, uh, medals that have been won, I gotta stop because we'll be here all night. Some of those accomplishments, that's what I'm talking about when I tell you I would definitely put Mark on the Mount Rushmore of long distance coaches. So I had the bright idea in 2004 as a senior in high school after run, reading this book, Running with the Buffaloes, somebody gave it to me. I didn't, I didn't know that. So I was a 16, 27 guy in high school. Uh, not that like fast, but not incredibly fast. But I had the gumption to think, huh, after reading this book, maybe I could walk on to the CU cross country team. And might I add in 2004, the men and the women both won the NCAA team titles at the NCAA cross country championship. And gosh, I'm like, huh, maybe I could walk on. Maybe I have what it takes to train with the Buffaloes. Well, I tried my freshman year, didn't make it, trained a year on my own made it, walked on to the CU team, it was crazy. And um, so I'm not gonna go into that whole story of training and how I actually walked on. I wanna focus more on what it was actually like to run under Mark Wetmore. So I think this is a story and yes, story is the key word again because Mark was first of all, one of the best storytellers I've ever, he's one of the best storytellers I've ever met. Very smart, witty, and he studied English, so he knows how to tell a good story. And he told us this story um, when I was there, and I think it just personifies so well his approach to to running, to life, uh, to training, and to coaching. So here it goes. Basically, and I'm not gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna tell the story as well as he does, but he basically told us that you know in high school. Uh, when he was in high school in the 60s in New Jersey, um, teenagers would drag race. They would race cars. Uh, back then, it was a, probably a little more legal back then. Nowadays, I don't think you could get away with that. But back then, high schoolers would uh, basically work on the weekends, work at nights in their garages, trying to build fast muscle cars, American muscle cars. And then on the weekends, they would meet at a location and they would drag race. They would, they'd go fast. So some of the some of the racers would show up and they would roll up in a kind of a beater car, but it would be souped up on the inside with a good a good engine that maybe the, the teenager had gone to the local salvage yard and pulled some parts that he thought would make the car faster. So this teenager put the work, the blood, sweat, and tears into his car. And then another teenager would show up and he'd show up maybe, I don't know, maybe with a, a new Mustang and it would be a brand new Mustang right off the car dealership lot that his dad built. And the guy in the new Mustang would win, but nobody respected him. Why? Because he didn't put in the, the sweat, the blood, the tears into building that car from the ground up. So I tell you that story about the cars, the kid, building the car from the ground up and the other kid showing up with a brand new Mustang right off the car dealership lot uh, to showcase for you how Mark approaches his cross country teams. He builds them from the ground up. He doesn't fly kids in from around the world, the fastest kids from Kenya or uh, Norway or anywhere else in the world. He doesn't, you know, he recruits the, from a grassroots level and he keeps an eye out for the little guys, the little guys who are just trying to walk on, the little guys who ran 1627 in high school and have a pipe dream to run with the Buffaloes at CU. Now he can't take everybody. There's a lot of people that try to walk on. Uh, you gotta have talent and you gotta have work ethic, but he took a risk with me. And um, I just love that story because, ah, uh, it's like, that is, uh, it's just like, that's, that is the University of Colorado cross-country team to a T, to a T. I could talk all night about CU and Mark Wetmore, but I'm just going to share a few more things um, that are just on my mind. I think Mark is a little bit of a an enigma to the outside world, and I think it's a good thing. He he keeps his cards very close to his to his chest. He 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 doesn't he doesn't want media attention. Um, even though he's won all of these championships, he's coached so many Olympians. Um, he'll win an NCAA team title and he'll wake up the next morning and he couldn't be more excited for 364 days of training till the next NCAA championship. Um, he celebrates for maybe, maybe 12 hours, maybe, and it's, it's on to the next thing. 
it's business. Um, traveling to races, it's it's a business trip. You're there to to run fast, and um, there's no, as I already mentioned, no holding your hand. A lot of um, like it's 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 a passage into adulthood, running for Mark. Um, you if if you are partying on the weekends, if you're um, if you're not doing well in school, if you're not paying attention to your grades, and if you're not working hard in the classroom, boom. You know, you're out of there like like that. And a quick story to drive that point home about if you're not on top of your academics or paying attention to the details with your training, uh, you're out of here. Boom. See ya. So Mark worked at an apple orchard in high school and the owner of the apple orchard told Mark to go down the line of trees and start cutting off the, the dead branches and the branches that are not bearing fruit. And he told us that story, frankly, as a warning to us. If you're not paying attention to the details, working hard and saying no to the, you know, the college lifestyle, and if if you're not going to bed early, if you're not if you're not doing all the little things, uh, you're gone. I'm gonna trim you off of this team so quick so that the tree can come back stronger. The team can come back even stronger when all the dead is cut out. And I just love that story. And just a couple more points about running for Mark and. Uh, he also he told us, you know, you don't want to be a well-rounded person. You know, you kind of hear that maybe maybe in high school or maybe a, a school counselor or I don't know. Some people like be a well-rounded person. And Mark was like, no, 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 no. Be a one-sided person, meaning find what you're passionate about and go at that a hundred percent, all in at that one goal that you have, and you will reach great, great heights. I just always love that. It always stuck with me. Like find your passion, find what you're good at in this world and drive at it a hundred percent all the time until you reach that end goal that you have set before yourself. So anyway, um, yeah, he, he would share that story, that story with me as well. Um, as I was, you know, discerning the future of, of, of work and of life and oh man. Now I'm realizing I'm not getting into very much specific training in this discussion about Mark Wetmore. Um, that'll be for another day. It's a whole nother topic. It's a huge topic. I want to talk, I'm talking more about the man Mark Wetmore and the personality and the, his approach to coaching, kind of his bigger philosophy. Um, and I will say like, he's definitely, He's, he's as, as many other NCAA cross country coaches are, but he's definitely, it's the team. Like cross country team championships, that's the goal. Like track is amazing, track is awesome. I love track, I love cross country more, but like that cross country team championship, that is the goal at the end of every single year. So if you're an athlete out there that's like interested in individual championships, like that's great. But frankly, I don't know if Mark would be the best fit for you. Like, even though Mark has coached so many individual champion ch champions, it's like, it's that team unit that I think really lights his fire, um, at least based on my experience being there. And just to wrap it up, like, I could talk all night about stories of running for Mark, and uh, we'll share more stories at some point, and I'll dive into more of the training and what it was like to train and race under Mark. But I was able to go from a walk-on to racing at the NCAA Cross Country Championships. Um, I had a lot of injuries along the way, as you know, uh, but that's okay. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I would, I would take those injuries all again just for the opportunity to learn and to experience uh, true grit uh, cross country under the leadership of Mark Wetmore. So again, keyword is story and the question of the day, what can, and I asked this question, I've, I've asked this question probably five months ago, uh, maybe four months ago, but we have at least 10,000 new subscribers since then. So what coach has influenced you the most and why in your life? For me, it's definitely Mark Wetmore, hands down. You just heard a couple of the reasons why, and uh, that is that. Ah, oh, man, I got to stop there because we could go on and on and on. All right, that is it, folks. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.